Hello. So right now we're going to look over the humerus, radiography and positioning of the humerus. So we're going to do an AP and a lateral view, two pictures of the humerus, 40 inch SID, usually done at the wall bucky standing. You can also do it laying down at the table bucky, a 14 by 17 lengthwise. We get the length of the arm or portrait, center to mid humerus. The AP, you're going to have the hand in anatomical position. The epicondyles are going to be parallel to the mid receptor, so a true AP elbow view. So we're going to get from elbow to shoulder. Then we're going to turn the hand so that we have a lateral view of the elbow where the epicondyles are going to be perpendicular to the IR. You're just gonna have the patient, don't breathe, don't move, no specific breathing instructions besides just suspend respiration. Don't breathe, don't move, and then expose. Some indications that we would need on our exam order for this are for fractures, dislocations, foreign bodies, pathological processes such as osteomyelitis and arthritis. Here's our positioning video for the first one, if I can get my mouse to work. There we go. So 14 by 17 in lengthwise or portrait. I'm gonna get our light center to mid humerus. Going to open up collimation to the size of the IR. So 14 by 17. We're going to sometimes need to go corner to corner on it. So you may or may not be able to collimate small on this one. So elbow, AP. Epicondyl is parallel to the IR, and we're going to get the entire elbow joint and shoulder joint on there. If you turn the collimator box, you just got to make sure you are still staying married. You're going to go by the married, the line, whenever it's not rotated. So that's our AP humerus. Lateral humerus. Switching out her IR. The epicondyls are perpendicular to the um, image receptor on this one. We'll move her over a little bit maybe. Center to mid humerus. So we need to see the shadow of the elbow and the shoulder still in there. So if you can't get it to fit, then you just go back and do corner to corner. We need the entire elbow joint to be in our light. So she's having a little bit of issues trying to get the collimation right on this one. Just open it up to the size of the IR 14 by 17 first. And then we will show that one in the lab. If you do um, rotate the collimator box, you may have to open it up bigger so you can get corner to corner. There it is, that's what it should look like. Shine our light on it. Shoulder joint and elbow joint. Now we're going to look at the x-ray and AP is going to look like an AP elbow. You should see the epicondyles parallel to the IR, the olecranon fossa. That's how you can tell it is an AP. The radius um, is straight out. Radial head you can see because we need about an inch or two past the joint, the elbow joint and then the shoulder joint, the glenoid cavity, 
and the acromion process at the top. And here's our lateral, where you can see it looks like a lateral elbow. Epicondyles are perpendicular to the IR. Shoulder, not as clear of a picture as the AP view, but we're turning everything in, rotating it in so the lesser and greater tubercle come in medially. And that's the humerus, AP and lateral.